Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Here's our question this week. Where do your feet take you? Where do your feet take you? Our feet can take us to, to good, safe places and to places that are terrible. But the warning here is that the places where maybe we've had a pattern or something in our lives that's not healthy and we tend to wander back into the places where we can be drawn down the, in kind of the ruts, the pathway we've been in the past that wasn't healthy and wasn't good for us. And so in Proverbs chapter 5, I'm going to pick it up in verse 7, but the, the passage before this is really dealing with um, the, the warning about specifically about, about adultery, about unfaithfulness when you're a married person being engaged with someone physically, sexually that's not your spouse. So it gives that warning. It says, be careful. There's a real cost involved. But then it continues on in verse 7. And we read these words. Now then, my sons, listen to me. And that, that, that sons is an ancient term. It's men, women. It's just saying, you know, pay attention, all people. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say, but keep a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house. It's talking about a person who's looking for an adulterous relationship. It says, keep your feet far from there. Don't go near the door of her house, lest you lose your honor to others and your dignity to one who is cruel. Lest strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich the house of another. You basically end up losing all you have. And at the end of your life, you will groan when your flesh and body are spent. You will say, how I hated discipline, how my heart spurned correction. But there's a lot in this short little passage. Let me draw out a few thoughts. First, don't even go near the door that when it opens, there's temptation right there. In this case, it's an adulterous woman. Don't go near her house. Don't walk down her street. Don't peek over the fence. Just don't. Uh, if you've had a background with alcoholism and you've gotten free of it, don't hang out at the bar. Don't go to a friend's house that always wants to offer you a drink when they know they shouldn't. And there's just that warning, be careful. If you struggle with overeating, be careful of that place that when you sit down and eat there, you don't roll out of there until you're stuffed, until you can't eat another bite because you, when you go there, you just lose it. I mean, be careful, whatever it is, be aware that when you go towards that door, when you go towards that place, it's gonna lure you in. Be careful, there's a warning there. And then there's a word about the cost, your dignity, your honor, that you don't realize that when you lose that self-control that God wants you to have and you dive into that sexual sin, that, 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 uh, that addiction, whatever it is, um, it's going to cost you something. And we don't like to think about that, but it's going to cost you something. And then I, I love what it says in verses 11 and 12. It talks about when you look back, you're going to go, what was I thinking? So you're going to groan. You're going to say, oh, you're, you're, that sense of when you've gone down that road and the next morning you wake up or the next day comes and you look back and you say, what did I do? Why did I do it? Think about that before you dive into it, before you go and open that door, before you walk to that place, before you take that drink, before you enter that relationship. I'm going to look back one day and, and say, what was I thinking? That's a warning from scripture. And finally, to learn to love discipline and listen to wise teachers. That this person who falls into this, into this sexual sin, this person looks back and says, I didn't heed discipline. I didn't listen to my teachers. We need to pay attention when, when we get chastised for something, when we get caught doing something and, and say, boy, I need to make a decision to not go down that road anymore. And so I want to pray for you. I want to pray that, that this message would come through to you loud and clear. Uh, that, that, you, that you would recognize and realize that, man, where my feet take me can be somewhere wonderful, somewhere deadly, or someone that could lead me, someplace that could lead me into a really unhealthy uh, situation in life. And so, Lord, this is our prayer, that we would have the wisdom to see where our paths will take us, where our feet are taking us, that we wouldn't wander down that road near that door and kind of reach for the handle and jiggle and see if it's open uh, in any area of temptation, particularly in the area of sexual sin that our world is so engaged in, but in any area where there's temptation, let us have the wisdom to not let our feet take us down that road. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you. If you're part of a local church, connect in your church this weekend. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we will see you at 9 or 11 online or on campus. God bless you.